Hi, it's Rob Moore here. Now, if you'd have been a fly on the wall in my little two-bed house where I rented out a tiny box room to a flatmate back in 2005, you'd have seen a very shy, introverted artist who uh, didn't go out much, didn't really like people, certainly wouldn't dare ask people for money or to buy my art, and I'd been single a long time, and, and that wasn't going very well either. Now, fast forward to now, things are different, and I think this event in 2006 was part of the trigger. So if you can relate to not being great at networking, not really getting out there, worrying about what people will think about you, worrying about approaching people for businesses or JVs or to buy your stuff and, you know, your, your mind manifests all this rejection that they'll do in front of everyone, then I think you'll find the story interesting. And it was actually a really pivotal moment. So we'd been sort of stuck in the house so long, almost like two male spinsters. People were probably talking about us and creating rumours that we both sort of looked at each other and decided we've got to go out there and, and socialise and meet people. And we'd been going out, but we'd never talked to anyone. And so we, we gained each other and we had this little competition. We used to like playing those um, DVD quizzes. So you put a DVD in the player and it'd be like a quiz. And we used to both, both kind of like doing that, I guess, because we didn't really have a life. So we had this little competition that we did together where we said that the loser, when we went out that night, that Friday night, had to approach three new women that we'd never met before that we were really keen to get to know. And that scared the heck out of us. Like, no way was either of us going to lose that. So we played the game, and I'd like to say, thankfully, I won. And Martin, who's probably even a little bit more shy than me, I know was really nervous about going out, probably tried to pull out of going out. Uh, you know, probably feigned a sickness. Anyway, so we went out that night, and I remember we were in a, a local bar, and he approached a girl, and he did it, and fair play, and I kind of sheepishly walked up behind him. And about three months ago, he had his first baby with this girl, and they'd had a, a couple of difficult times in trying to get their first baby. They've been married a few years, they've been together, must be, what, eight, nine years, something like that. And that gives me goosebumps just saying that. Now, I think that there's a lot of parallels between meeting people you want to be intimate with and meeting investors, partners, financiers, selling your products and services. So both Martin and I would have had this mental, oh, they're going to blow me out in front of the whole bar. They're going to shout at me. They're going to walk off. I'm going to be standing there embarrassed like something out of one of those horrible teen movies. But of course, our brains create these scenarios and actually they never happen. And so why don't you get yourself out there to more networking events, meeting more uh, higher level business partners, you know, shoot high and just let it happen. I mean, if you go up to people and say, hey, I want your money and I want to sell you stuff, they're probably going to step back. But if you just go to build rapport and connect, the money will flow, the deals will flow, the partnerships will flow, who knows? It could even be more intimate than that. So get yourself out there, do that more, and everything you want in your business and uh, raising finance in your vision, I believe you'll get.